In this video, we will show you how to use the TS4 Chewing Stand, the next generation of wheel chewing stands from Park Tool. Bicycle wheels develop wobble over time and they need to be straightened out or trued. The TS4 holds the wheel and acts as a gauge so you can make quick and accurate adjustments to the spoke tension in order to straighten the wheel. The TS4 is the one chewing stand that can accommodate the widest range of hub and rim dimensions. Knobs are comfortable and easy to use. The caliper arm's precise movement up and down allows for more efficient radial wheel truing. It has built-in adapters for through axle wheels. It's our most accurate and versatile chewing stand. Let's walk through assembly. After we secure the base, grease the threads of the caliper knob and install the knob. Install the trunnion into the caliper arm. Grease the caliper arm knob threads as well as the unthreaded end where it will contact the trunnion. Install caliper arm shaft through the bushing and into the trunnion. Thread in the shaft to lower the caliper arm. Install the knob cap screw and snug it up. Install the nylon tips. Wheels are secured in place by tightening the main shaft knob. This knob adjusts the caliper height. This knob adjusts the caliper width. Move the calipers in towards the rim as you make corrections to the spoke tension. Once the calipers are within the desired tolerance, lateral truing is complete. To check for radial errors, position the caliper fingers just below the top of the rim braking surface. Spin the wheel to see where the rim contacts the caliper fingers and make any radial corrections to the rim. Once the caliper fingers are within the desired tolerance around the entire circumference of the rim, your radial runout is correct. The TS4 can also assist with wheel centering. In this example, the rim is laterally true, but is significantly off-center. We adjust the spoke tensions to move the rim closer to center. Next, we check our adjustments with the dishing tool. In this example, we need to make another adjustment to bring us to center. We continue to make adjustments and recheck using the dishing tool until we are within the desired tolerances. It can happen that a perfectly centered wheel may not appear perfectly centered in the caliper of any trimming stand. This is because there are a lot of moving parts and a lot going on at the point where the wheel and the stand interface with each other. Bicycle wheels bring their own set of issues. Axles may not be exactly concentric. Worn axle threads can be especially problematic. And for axles using six-sided lock nuts, the faces of the lock nuts are unlikely to be aligned left to right. This can shift the wheel slightly in the stand. The rim radius then multiplies any anomaly at the hub, and that can affect the centering at the caliper fingers. This is why the most accurate and precise method to center a rim is a dishing tool, such as the WAG4 or WAG5. The TS4 chewing stand is calibrated at the factory. 
They are adjusted to a set hub width and to tight tolerances. It is possible stains may come out of alignment from rough handling in shipping or wear over time. You may attempt to correct the issue, but only if the adjustment is truly necessary. If so, be sure to follow these instructions closely. Begin by checking the calipers for free movement. Pull outward and then release. Use the nut to make adjustments if they do not move freely. The next step is to check for these reference dots. If the stain has been dropped or otherwise mishandled, these plates may have shifted and the dots will no longer be visible or significantly off-center. To readjust the plates, loosen the top and bottom bolts and realign to the reference mark. Secure the bolts to approximately 50 newton meters. Next, we will make sure our uprights are centered to the base. Install a wheel that has been checked with a dishing tool. Do not assume a factory wheel has been properly dished. Secure the wheel, but do not over tighten the adjusting knob. Measure the distance between the rim and each upright arm. If the rim is sitting off center more than one millimeter, it should be adjusted by loosening the two collars on the main shaft. If the collar screws cannot be reached from the back, loosen the knob until the heads show. Loosen both sides and again tighten the knob to bring the uprights to the hub. Uprights will move together either left or right when pushed at the top. It can be useful to use a plastic mallet and gently tap the arm to move it in small increments. After the rim is centered, push one shaft collar to the base. Secure the collar pinch bolt it should be tight. Push the second collar to the base and secure. Check that the collars are snug to the base, around 12 to 13 newton meters. Attempt to move the upright arms left to right. There should be very little to no movement. The collars should not be seen moving left to right at the base. Bring the caliper arm up toward the rim and bring the caliper fingers to the outside edge of the rim. Adjust so one caliper finger is nearly touching the rim. Sight the other side to inspect any gap. If necessary, adjust the location of the caliper fingers using the two caliper arm nylock nuts. It is important that these nuts not be over tightened as they can bow and distort the two side plates. If there is a gap seen at the right caliper finger, the caliper arm needs to move slightly to the left. Loosen the right lock nut one quarter to one half turn and then tighten the left lock nut the same amount. Use the caliper arm knob to bring the caliper finger closer to the rim. Repeat the process as necessary. There is a limit to the left and right movement of the caliper arm using these lock nuts. The caliper arm adjusting knob fits into a trunnion at the arm linkage, and this space is the available range of adjustment. If it appears necessary to adjust beyond this range, double check the centering of the rim between the uprights and correct using the shaft collars. And that's a quick look at the assembly, use, and centering of the TS4 truing stand. For more resources on wheel truing, visit the repair help section of parktool.com. Thanks for watching.